All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So the sixth anniversary for Global is officially over. It was, I would say, a pretty good celebration overall, but obviously that's just my opinion. I'm sure other people have uh, different experiences, but either way, it's time to move on. And now we have a new, I would say, kind of filler celebration before the worldwide celebration starts at the end of the month. So uh, without further ado, let's check it out. Let's see what's going on. We're going to pop into the news here. And here we go. It's called Scorching Heat Summer Sprint Campaign, a new Dokkan event, and a legendary challenge campaign. Ooh, hold on. New Dokkan event and legendary challenge campaign. Oh, for the, the Bobbity and Boo. Forgot about that. Okay, yeah, so legendary challenge campaign and new stages um, are also added to a story event. Don't miss out on the login bonus and missions that allow you to obtain dragon stones and other items such as training items every day. Okay, so we have some login bonus stuff, obviously, some uh, special missions, a dragon stone sale, which has 32 stones for 50% off two times and 91 stones for 20% off four times, pretty standard. And of course, we have a brand new banner with some discounts, which I'm not surprised by, but it's nice to see nonetheless. I think it's your standard, like, you know, 25 stones. Uh, is it 25, 35, and then 50? Something like that. We'll check it out. But uh, I'm pretty sure the third step is a guaranteed featured unit. So for those of you that want Videl, I would recommend that you at least do the discounts because it gives you a pretty decent chance of pulling Videl on that third step. But yeah, new banner, we have the Defenders of Justice Category 7, which obviously is uh, Videl's... Actually, I was gonna say new category, but technically it's already on Global because uh, I think we got it with the April Fool celebration this year where we got the uh, Gohan and Videl, so... Yeah, either way, Defenders of Justice Category Summon. Don't pull on it because <laughs> Category Summons are just bad banners. Honestly, they're just bad value for your stones. So uh, I would not touch that. And of course, a new Elder Kai banner. We got the LR Bobbity and Boo Legendary Challenge Campaign officially on for people that have Bobbity and Boo already. They're basically getting a, you know, free 20 stones and also some Kai's and uh, orbs. And we also have a new Dokkan event for Videl. We have some new stages for the Videl Flying Technique or, you know, Learning to Fly story event. And we also have some new stages for the Extreme Z area. For the uh, Int Gohan slash Saiyaman and also the Yamu and Spopovich Extreme Z Awakenings. Um, we have, let's see, oh, of course, the Prime Battle event for Bobbity and Pooh available every day, and also the stamina requirement is, re is reduced by 50%. We have a new virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash, which is dropping tonight. A, uh, let's see, a bunch of story events, Majin Buu Saga story events specifically returning and I'm pretty sure these are all the stages or all the events that allow you to farm free to play um what do you call it Majin Buu Saga free to play units that you can use to increase your drop rate for the prime battle Bobby and Boo event and what else do we have here uh required oh there we go okay so required stamina halved for quest stages that's pretty dope and also we have the fourth Peton battle which is uh starting in about a week from now so not right now but starting about a week that's dope and uh yeah so a lot of people were kind of confused by like why the stamina requirement for the quest mode was reduced um after the data download and there was nothing talking about it in the news so a lot of people thought it was a mistake myself included i thought like bandai, bandai just kind of messed up but as it turns out it is part of the campaign but they just didn't really announce it, I guess, until, uh, you know, this news came out. So either way, that's fine. Um, and we also have some other... Oh, a support memory can be obtained from the story event, Defeat the Legendary Super Saiyan. Is this where you get the... I'm kind of confused, actually. I'm not sure exactly. I mean, is it the, the Videl, like, secret feelings support memory where you get Majibusa? Wait, that doesn't make sense, though. Wait, so which support memory do you get from this story event? I'm not sure, honestly. <laughs> I'm a little bit confused. Okay, so either way, we can get a new support memory from this event now. 
Um, I have to go check which one that is, so I'm not going to say anything more about that, but that's starting on the 16th as well. So the Pets on Battle as well as this are dropping, I guess, in like a second part to the celebration, kind of. And uh, we also have reopening of story events, Saiyan Saga, and also the Raditz one. And those are coming out on the 16th. We have the Extreme Z area for the Raditz returning on the 16th as well. And that seems to be it. So nothing too crazy. New banner, of course. Pets on Battle. Um, no Extreme Z Awakening, unfortunately, which I kind of was hoping for. But as I said, this is somewhat of a filler celebration, so I didn't expect too much. Obviously, Legendary Campaign is going to be good for people that don't have Bobbity and Boo. Um, and some uh, new stages to story events. And Ultimate Clash, of course, which is uh, pretty cool as well, I guess. Um, this is not the one, by the way, that has the... I'm pretty sure it's not. No, it's not. I don't think it's the one with uh, the Omega Shenron boss and the Shadow Dragons, so don't get too excited. And now let's quickly check out the details for the Dokkan best banner here so uh i just want to see the steps here okay so yeah multi summon discount don't miss out on the one round only multi summon discount from step one to three it's 25 stones 30 stones and 45 stones and on step three you are guaranteed to recruit a featured ssr character so there you go i would recommend the three steps at the very least if you guys are you know looking to summon if not then obviously just skip it not a big deal but these three-step discounts are always a good idea just because you're either, you know, getting a good unit or the main unit, right? Because, like, the banner itself is actually pretty solid. Um, let me just quickly pop over to the banner and uh, check it out with you guys. So, I, I, I'm guessing it's the same banner as, as JP, but we don't know for sure yet. So, we got the Videl, we got the Kid Goten, of course, two new units, and then we have Bojack, who's fairly new. Uh, we have the Ultimate Gohan, we have the Trunks, Zamasu, and Goku Black. So yeah, identical banner to the JP one. And uh, I, as I said, it's a pretty, it's a pretty average banner. Maybe slightly above average, but nothing too amazing. But with the discounts, I think it's worth the three multis or the three summons to uh, get that guaranteed featured. But outside of that, guys, that is. All there is to say, man. New celebration is here. Uh, did I miss anything? Hold on. Okay, so legendary challenge campaign. Oh, we got the login bonus. Looks like one stone per day, plus your standard, like, training items, awakening medals, some orbs. Nothing nothing too special. And also uh, special missions, up to 30 dragon stones in total for completing all of them. And defenders of justice category summon, new event, uh... A Dokkan event for Videl. Also, yeah, so nothing new here, basically. Nothing new here. Okay, let me just click on these because it kind of annoys me when it says new. So I'm just going to try to get rid of that before we get out of here. Man, there's a lot of new stuff, actually. Holy crap. Okay, so there we go. The new thing is gone. Okay, so um, guys, uh, as I said previously, I was going to do a stream when Videl's banner dropped, but... I honestly, the truth is I was at the gym and uh, my workout took a little bit longer than I was expecting. So I didn't make it back in time to actually start the stream in time, but I'm still going to be doing summons. Uh, I'll probably just turn it into a video for you guys. So after this video drops in about an hour from now, you'll probably see my summoning video for Videl as well. So uh, just be a little bit patient. It'll be dropping soon. So hopefully things go well. And good luck to you guys on your summons as well for Videl. Um, she is a very good unit, obviously, but not a unit that you really need to have, to be honest. So I don't think it's a terrible idea to skip, but obviously I still will be summoning, at least with a couple hundred stones. We'll see. We'll see. But uh, that's going to be today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the TAM video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And uh, while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here until next time. Hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day.
I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.